welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well today. I'm doing great. And in this video right here, we're going to be talking about some low stress, basically stress free side hustle slash jobs you can do from home. And one thing I really like about these jobs is that you don't need any experience to do them. You don't need any degree. This is just going to be basic stuff that you can do to earn extra money, okay? You kind of can just be chilling on your couch, you know, laid back watching TV. You don't have to be super poised or anything. You can just kind of kick back and do these. And if you have kids, you can have background noise. You don't have to worry about any of those strict things that you kind of have to worry about with traditional jobs, all right? So we're just going to go ahead and get into everything you guys already know I'm gonna link everything in the description bar for you to so definitely go ahead and check out and so let's go ahead and get straight into it let's go ahead and talk about the first job that you can do now you guys have heard me talk about mystery shopping a lot on my channel if you haven't heard me talking about mystery shopping I'll definitely link my mystery shop playlist on my channel but for those that don't know I've been mystery shopping for years I've mystery shops for multiple companies and mystery shopping does not always involve you leaving leaving your home to go do mystery shops. For each of these side hustles, we're gonna be at home and be able to do them from the comfort of our home. But of course, if you wanna leave and go do them, you know, at Starbucks or in the park, you can actually go do that too, okay? So there are phone mystery shops. And a long time ago, I used to use Bestmark as my go-to for phone mystery shops. But over the years, I've noticed that it's harder and harder to get phone shops with Bestmark. So I recently signed up with a new company and the name of that company is is Confero okay so before we talk about Confero let's just talk about what a phone mystery shop is okay all you're going to be doing is posing as a potential customer and calling the place inquiring about service so all of the instructions that you need you know for the mystery shop and exactly what you're going to do all of that is going to be outlined when you choose your shop and of course you'll be able to see exactly what you're going to have to do and then you can make the decision if you want to accept and do that shop or whatever the case may be you'll also be able to see the rate of pay for that shop as well before you accept it so generally when it comes down to phone mystery shops I noticed that they tend to be between like three and maybe ten dollars so you're not gonna make a lot of money doing a phone mystery shop I mean you're essentially just making a phone call it's only gonna take you a few minutes in most cases so you cannot expect to make a lot of money doing that but if you do a bunch of phone mystery shops in a short amount of time, then of course you can make some decent money doing that, all right? So just to give you guys an example of a phone shop, a lot of the phone shops that I used to do would be when I would pretend like I was interested in, you know, getting my car serviced. And they tell you exactly what kind of car to say that you own. So whether they say it's a 2020 Toyota Camry, they tell you in the guidelines which type of car to say that you own when you're doing that shop. So you would just call the Toyota dealership and say, I'm calling to inquire about getting my car serviced. And then basically what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be evaluating the way that you're treated on the call by the person that answers the call. So whether it's a service advisor, receptionist, whatever the case may be, Again, your guidelines will tell you exactly what you're looking for when you do call the place. You will go ahead and schedule that. And of course, you're not going to actually go. And of course, you do not have to own the card that they're telling you to call about. So, you know, again, this is acting. You're just pretending. In Confero, you will go to the job board. Once you go to the job board, it's going to show you the type of shops that are available. And you can choose standard shops, which are going to be those shops that require you to leave the house and go places. Of course, definitely choose those if you're interested. But for the sake of this video, we're talking about the web and phone shops here. As you see, they have two different type of shops here. They have telephone education services and telephone shops. So when I click on the telephone education services shops, when you click that more button right there, it's going to tell you exactly. So in this case, I will be calling Florida Tech. And it tells you right here the hours, it tells you the shop fee. So the shop fee is $9 for this particular shop. And the hours are going to be between 9 a.m. to 4.45 Eastern Time. So that means that's when you would have to make that phone call. So to get into the shop comments, they're saying that their client is looking for shoppers to provide services for their non-recorded phone shops. To inquire about online courses, you can call from any state. You will inquire about obtaining a degree. You do not need to have a degree already to conduct these shops and you may call from anywhere in the US. You're gonna be paid $9 for your complete report. Tells you exactly when to call. Calls usually take 10 minutes but should not last any more than 20 minutes. So you're gonna be getting paid 
$9 for a 10 to 20 minute phone call. So let's just say you did three of these in an hour, then that's what, $27 in an hour's time. So during this call, you will not use star six seven or another feature to block your phone number. You can let your real phone number show or their client recommends that you download a free app for your phone, such as the phone burner app or another app for iOS or Android and it'll allow you to place a call from a fake local phone number. Your real number will be disguised. And if you are or were an employee of a college or university to which you are assigned, you're not eligible to conduct this shop. So like I said in the beginning of this video, super stress-free, easy for you to do, straightforward. You know how much you're getting paid. You don't need any experience. Your kids don't have to be sleek. Your kids can be chilling next to you, talking, doing whatever they're doing, and you can go ahead and make this money, okay? And like I said, this is going to be extra money for you to put in your pocket, you know, save, do whatever you're trying to do, and it's super easy. So that's an example of a telephone education shop. Now, now giving you guys a little bit more information about Confero, like I said, I have just signed up with them I've heard about this company in the past but I've never worked with this company before but they're pretty much like many other companies that I've worked for they only pay you via PayPal it took me probably maybe like five minutes to sign up after you sign up if you do want to be paid you will have to give them your social security number that is 100% normal that is not a scam you will be an independent contractor conducting these mystery shops therefore you will be taxed on your earnings so you will have to give your social security number Number for that and you will be paid via PayPal now one important thing to note is your PayPal email will need to match the email that you signed up with on the site so make sure that you're using the same email that you have your PayPal with so that you can be paid with no problem and as far as how often they pay I'm sure they have a frequently asked questions section giving you that information I haven't even looked at that yet so I will put that up on the screen and let you guys know once I check it but again, this company has been around for years. I've heard of them and so I had no issues, you know, applying with them. So the next side hustle we have is going to be a side hustle as a raider for the company Altus Assessments, okay? So a few of my subscribers recently got on with this company when I posted a video on them a few months back and they say they really like it. They really, really like it, okay? So they have the job as a test assessor Casper Raider. The job is still currently open and one thing I like about this job is that it does not require you to have any experience. Basically just giving you guys more information about the Casper test. The Casper test is an online selection tool used by academic programs to help assess applicants for non-academic attributes or people skills. Applicants respond to 12 series of three open-ended questions rated by human raiders and of course that's going to be you. You're going to be reading applicant responses and comparing amongst the overall applicant pool to thoughtfully assigned scores. And you're going to be assessing applicant responses based on onboarding training provided and participating in ongoing refresher training. And you're going to be providing feedback to help them improve their tests, their platforms, and their content. And the only thing that they're saying that you need and that's required is an empathetic and analytical mindset. A high level of comfort working with technology, a curious and detail oriented approach to suggest areas of improvement and spot potential issues with the platform, and a strong alignment with the company mission and values, okay? You also must reside in the country where you're rating from, and you must have knowledge and experience of the culture of the country. They welcome applicants from all walks of life in an effort to continue to build a diverse group of raters, okay? Now, as far as the pay for this position, this is a casual contract position, and they hire periodically on an as-needed basis. The rate of pay is $0.65 cents per rating. Raters typically make between $20 to $30 an hour when test responses are available to rate, okay? So hopefully some of my subscribers who actually work for this company will comment and chime in and give you a little bit more information on the pay, but that is straight from their website there. And as far as the application to apply for this job, super quick and easy. It doesn't take too long at all. They will ask you if you've taken the Casper test within the past three years and if you are currently a student and they ask you a few other questions, definitely go ahead and apply for them if you guys are interested. Okay, so next up we have a social media moderator, okay? And social media moderating is super easy. All you're doing is, you know, working for a company and basically you're just gonna be their social media moderator. You're gonna go on their different platforms, whether it be Twitter, 
Facebook, TikTok, you know, they'll let you know the exact platforms that you have to go on. And all you're going to be doing is moderating the comments. Now, each social media moderator job will have the specifics of exactly what you're going to do, but you're going to be monitoring the comments. Make sure ain't nobody cursing nobody out or being racist or anything. You're also going to respond to comments. And then like you may have to provide customer service as well. So if a customer has an issue with something, you know, some type of service that they've received from the company, you would definitely have to assist the customer with that. So that's pretty much, you know, the gist of a social media moderator. And most of the times, like with an entry level social media moderator job, you do not need to have much experience at all. Everybody pretty much has experience using social media if you're on social media and that can count as experience, okay? You don't have to necessarily technically have worked as a social media moderator, but if you do have experience with social media, you do qualify to do social media moderating, okay? So tons of companies that hire for social media moderators, I'll definitely link a few of them in the description bar that aren't asking for any experience or too much experience. But right now the company Live World is currently looking for a social media agent. Okay, so for this job, you're gonna be reviewing and taking appropriate action on social media posts according to brand guidelines. That's gonna include rejecting or approving content, tracking and escalating, you're going to also respond to customers' questions, selecting and personalizing previously prepared responses or in a social context. And you're going to actively engage with online users, stimulating, guiding, and participating in conversations, authoring responses on the fly. You're going to also research customer service answers, in some cases, client CRM systems. And you're going to identify and escalate trends, topics, sentiment, and emerging issues, okay? So again, super easy, nothing hard right there. Now, the recommended education and experience is as followed. Be a minimum of 18 years old, two to three years of experience in online moderation and engagement in or online customer service that's desirable, that is not required. Also, some experience in a call center environment is helpful. Work at home experience is helpful. Social media moderation and engagement experience is preferred but not required. Also, experience with social media tools such as those from Live World, Salesforce, Sprinkler, Koros, or similar tools is desirable and college degree or equivalent experience is preferred. Now, in terms of your technical requirements, you just need to have high-speed internet, so that can be Wi-Fi. Um, you also need to have dependable telephone access. They're saying for training, they will prefer you have a landline and also the ability to work in a quiet and secure home office. And you must be able to use either a desktop or a laptop and you must be fluent in English. But yeah, that's pretty much it right there. Don't forget that everything that I mentioned is gonna be in the description bar for you guys. And you guys already know, I appreciate you so much for watching. Make sure to go ahead and leave all your questions and comments below. And as usual, I will see you guys in my next video and good luck.